Hello and welcome back to learnabouteyes.com. Today I'm testing the Simuli Simularexis Eye. Is this the perfect solution to practice your Capsularexis? You'll find out in this video. And if you stay until the end, you can win your own Simularexis set together with a forceps. So let's go. Today is actually the first time that I'm using this product, so you're gonna see my unfiltered reaction. So you get this box, and it contains all the things that you need. You get one cornea, and you get a couple of uh, films for your capsule. You get some polymer that's supposed to simulate your lens, and you get the eye socket. This is a two-part socket. It's pretty neatly made. You can screw one part into the other and thereby tighten it. So you're supposed to screw it all the way in and then three quarters back so you can then tighten it later on. Fill it with some polymer, remove the excess polymer, do this again. All right, so this way we have a pretty nice flat surface. Now we're gonna take one of these films and then we're going to take your cornea. There's two sides to the capsule. You have the one where you can actually see the ring and the other side where you see the ring through that red foil. You have to put this side up in here. I hope you can see that. And then put this onto that. Just clip it on and then you should be good to go. If you want to simulate a steeper lens, you can just turn this and thereby increase the pressure on the capsule. So let's see how this goes. You just push this on here and it sticks. This is what it looks like under the microscope. You have these different markings. This is for your main incision. These are your paracentesis. This is pretty sticky. Not sure if it's my knife or if it's the material that is too sticky. Now let's fill the anterior chamber with some viscoelastic. Oh yeah. Oh, I can even put some viscoelastic on there. Can't do that with a lot of other eyes. This looks good. All right, this hair. First hair looks good. Ooh, it reacts really nicely. Oh, now this feels good. This feels really good. First try, I'm super impressed. The feeling of the Rexis, how it tears everything is very lifelike. The incisions were pretty elastic-y, so it doesn't really feel like a cornea, but that might also be because my instruments aren't as sharp anymore. But the rest, wow. And this is the first eye that I've seen that you can actually put some viscoelastic on top of the cornea to give it that magnified contrasty look that you get in your human eye. So now let's clean this up and check out what it feels like if you actually turn it to increase the pressure and make the rexus go out. So this is what it looks like after you've used it. Unfortunately, I feel like you can only use it once. You can't really use those thingies twice. That might be a downside to that. You need to order a couple of those. I'm just going to turn the eye and increase the pressure. I'm a bit nervous to find out what it feels like right now with the pressure completely increased to the maximum. Let's see if this Rexus runs out. There's a bit more pressure for sure. Yeah, you can see it wants to run out a bit, but still you can get away with a lot. So let me do a couple more and I'll get back to you with my results.
All right, so what do I think of the Simuli Simula Rexis I? I have to say, I am very excited about this. It is very, very good. First of all, check out the size. It is so small. This is the whole thing. You need a forceps and you need some viscoelastic and that's all you need. You can just take this eye to your table and you're good to go. If you wanna be a little bit more comfortable, get this little eye holder. It has a nice Simuli sticker on it and some rubberized feet, but it's basically just a repurposed hockey puck. Setting this thing up is super easy. You do have to watch their instructional video, but it's about five minutes and then you know exactly what to do. Please do watch it so you don't get it wrong. So now to the most important part. How does it look and feel? I really enjoy the fact that you can put viscoelastic on top of the cornea. This gives it a very lifelike look. I didn't see that in any other practice eyes that I've tested so far. And then the feeling. Tearing the capsule feels really, really good. It is almost like in a human eye. If you can do your capsular axis in this eye, you can definitely do it in a human. One of the downsides is definitely that you can only use these little foils once, so you end up with a bunch of red dots with a hole in the middle. So if you're going to do a lot of capsular axis practice, order a lot of those, you're going to need them. I really like systems where you can use the material over and over again. So this might be something for the future to improve. Yeah, so all in all, I'm super happy with the results. And I think if you're interested to get a very human-like feeling, try this Simuli Simularexis Eye. So we're back in the studio. And since you're still here, I'm pretty sure you want to win your own Simularexis Eye. To participate in the giveaway, all you need to do is subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the Simuli YouTube channel, and leave a comment down below this video saying what type of instrument you use to do your capsular axis. Is it a forceps? Is it a needle? What do you use? Exactly one week from now, on July 19th, we're gonna randomly pick a winner from the comments. And the winner will get this set from Simuli. In this set, you're gonna find the same Simular axis training eye together with the base that you saw in the video. And I'm also putting in some Learn About Eyes stickers and a Capsular Rexis forceps. If you're interested in more products by Simuli, they do have a wide range of things to practice your eye surgery or laser skills. I'm reviewing more of their products in the future. In the meantime, you can go check out their website and good luck and see you in the next video.